this is Frederica. Welcome back to another video. This is a how-to and style video um, where I'm going to be showing you my best thrifted items that I've ever found at the thrift store, which it would be a long list if I go all the way back, but these are like my most recent finds that I'm going to go over with you and tell you why I like them and uh, go through each item. Um, so first off, if you're new here, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share my channel. Um, I do thrifted videos, I do lookbooks, uh, I do my daughter rates, my outfits. This has been a really fun uh, series for me to do. I do a how-to and style, how to, look your, your, how to look and dress your best on a budget. And I also um, do like short cooking videos um, and I would enhance those videos if you guys were interested in me doing them more frequently. You know, I could do more and make them longer. But... I'm not sure if you guys are really interested in that. So just, you know, drop a comment below if you want me to do like a longer uh, video. Uh, my husband's really the cook in the family. So I'm trying to like coax him into doing a video this week with me where he's making homemade pizza. So keep your fingers crossed for that video. Hopefully that'll come through. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to go over all these thrifted finds for you. And these are just like finds that I found right now that I love and that I, that I want to rock the most. So, um, I'm a jackets girl. I love jackets. A great jacket to me can accentuate your outfit and bring it up a level. So, um, a lot of these are jackets. I have a few dresses in here too that I was like, whoa. So when I do an actual thrifting event with you guys, like a live video, then you'll be able to see like what my thought process is when I'm thrifting. And hopefully you get like a more, uh, in-depth look at like, you know, the whole process and, uh, of course, I'll be in the mask. So what I might be doing is like doing a voiceover for that because we do have to wear masks for safety issues now because of the pandemic and everything. And I'm okay with that because I want to keep my family safe and I want to keep others safe that are around me. You know, it's called being socially responsible. And I think that's the best way for anyone to be in life. Um, so anyway, let's get back into our video. Okay, let's start off with this jacket. Um, as you can see, this is like a velour jacket with the striped details and this is really cute to me I just loved it um, it's by no comments and I'll give it a try on so you guys can get a look at it I really love jackets this feels very nice and silky so you know if you're at the thrift store make sure that you are um, going to check out the um, jacket section to see if you can find a great jacket uh, or a coat if you're looking for coats they have great coats sometimes you know you can get lucky and don't think this everything there is old a lot of these things I found have come brand new with tags on them. People give away brand new stuff that they really just don't want anymore because I've done it myself. So it happens, you know. So this is the way this jacket is. It zips up and it would just it would be cute, casual, or you can dress it up if you wanted to. So that's number one. And then I found this one too, which is another cute jacket. Um, just look at the details and the design. I didn't have anything like this in my closet. I think it's really pretty. You see a lady there drawn in. And this is by the Say What Company. So I'll give this a try on for you guys too. So you can see how it looks. Um, I will probably style these for you in a future video. So you can see exactly um, you know, how I'm going to pair it with different things in my closet already. So don't be afraid to go to the thrift store. You know, I'm all about affordable fashion here. And there's nothing wrong with going to the thrift store to find a couple of items. Um, if you've been watching me for the past couple of months, I told you my whole experience with, like, why I go to the thrift store. Um, my big mama, who's now passed away, God rest her soul, taught me a lot about thrifting, you know, because we did it when I was little. And just, you know, there wasn't a whole bunch of money around or whatever. So we would buy clothes brand new, and then we would, like, also go thrifting which was so much fun to me you know to find stuff you know so I was like maybe 10 or 11 years old looking through stuff trying to find good stuff and my mom of course was finding good stuff for me too you know and um but she always bought me new clothes every school year always always every school year she would buy me brand new clothes so um you know we just that's what she did and I, I love her so much and may she rest in peace but anyway that's where my love of thrifting comes in from she taught me and um, I've been a thrifter ever since so um, this jacket is made like this as you guys can see and let's see you can put the hood on 
and you get a whole different look vibe so I thought that was really a very pretty jacket I didn't want to leave it behind so I thought that looked good it's by the say what company so don't go by like companies if you know brands that you love are there yes go ahead and thrift those but don't just be like I'm going in and I'm going to definitely find this brand because at the thrift store you never know what you're going to find so if you're just going in looking like with blinders on that this is the brand you're going to find or you're looking for you probably won't find it so if you just keep an open mind when you're thrifting then you'll be able to find exactly you know the items that you want or that you need um usually I start off in accessories because I love handbags and I love sunglasses you guys know check out the past videos in my playlist and you will see um I found a few things there from the thrift store that way I don't primarily thrift shoes there but if you find a brand new pair of shoes with the tag still in tow then of course you should go ahead and buy those shoes um, I, there's a few instances where I've gotten lucky and uh, found those items you know but I don't normally go there looking for thrifted items it's very rare I'll say a 1% chance that you'll find you know gently used shoes or shoes with tags on them that have never been worn okay the next item is this beautiful Mosimo leather jacket of course I've worn this and this was a real deal that I got it for I was like oh no I'm not leaving this behind I just left up on it one day and you know that was it so it's fully lined um I love jackets see how it changes your whole look and it's leather you get closer you guys can see the details see and it's got two pockets you can button it up if you like this was brand new with tags on it so and it's like a light gray color so I don't know if it's picking up on camera but um I was just really happy to find that and this is by Mosimo which is a Target brand Let's see what's next and there's L okay this actually was way too big for me but I wasn't gonna leave it behind because I just love the way that this is made it's so cute um I should have kept it on the handle to show you guys uh, but I'm gonna try it on anyways by L as you can see it's an extra large I'm not an extra large um, by any means, but don't go by size, ladies. You can always style something to your fit. You can style something to your size. Don't go with size. Like, oh, it's not my size. And blah, 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 blah. No, if, even if it's, if it's too big, it's better to get it if it's too big because you can, you can work with that. Don't get it if it's too small because you really can't do anything with that. But if it's something too big, you can definitely style this. And I've worn this already to a family member's uh, like birthday event so yes as you can see it's a little big so what I did was I wrapped it around it's asymmetrical right here and it is definitely too big but to not so that wouldn't be noticed I wrapped a belt around it okay and so when I like do these outfits for you guys again in a lookbook then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about so I would just put the belt around that I wanted and I wore the outfit that I wanted of choice and that was it and no one knew it wasn't my size so this was a really good find and it's really cute there's no pockets or anything on this but as you can see in the back it's kind of got a peplum hem so that's cool peplum hem that's a tongue twister but um yeah peplum design so you can see that that's really cool kind of asymmetrical and it's asymmetrical in the front so I just like this is just too cute and I like the hunter green color of it too and then this is a Ralph Lauren golf jacket so this is really cute I haven't really worn this yet and I don't know why but I haven't another thing when you're thrifting make sure that you always wash your clothes as soon as you get home wash your things wash them wash them wash them I can't say that enough wash them even before the pandemic you should have been washing your things if you are a thrifter um, because it's just good good, good practice you know sometimes you have to wash it once twice do whatever you have to do you know but try not to get things I, I try not to get things that have stains on them because I don't know if the stain is going to come out or if it's not going to come out and to me it's just it would just be a waste and you know actually we're saving all of these clothes from going into landfills when you are thrifting and you don't want your clothes to be 
a waste. Like when you're going to buy something, you want to be able to use it again, or you want to be able to give it to someone if you can't use it. So if it's just a stain that won't come out, then what are you going to do with that? So usually I don't deal with those, but every thrifter is different. They might get something with stains and they may not worry about it. Um, and sometimes stains can come out. If it's something you think you know what the stain is and you can get it out, then hey, go for it. But me, my personal preference is no, I, I steer clear of that, you know. But anyway, here is the jacket. Um, just trying it on for you guys so you can see. Um, so it's like a real cool little jacket that you can um, wear with a lot of things. But I have yet to style this yet, so I uh, look forward to the lookbook coming for that, okay? Let's see, what else? Um, oh, okay, next, sequin hearts. I really am inspired by the military styles. So any jacket that I find that's like military inspired, I really love it. I hope this is picking up my camera so you guys can see it. Okay, we got another little peplum hem in back and design. Um, this is by the brand Sequin Hearts. And try it on for you guys so you can see it. So I really love military inspired uh, jackets. I think they just like add edge to your outfit. Um, you know, some people like moto jackets too. And I do have like maybe one moto jacket, but it's not really, really my style. I like more of the military inspired look. So see right away you, you feel rugged, you know, and this is like a military inspired blazer. So this is very cute. And like I said, always just go browse the jackets and you can see the detail in back. Um, so this is a really cool jacket. Okay, let's try it on. As you can see, I love jackets. You can't go wrong with a good jacket. That can turn your outfit around too. Okay, the next outfit, let's see. Okay, White House Black Market, very good brand if you find it at the thrift store. And if you want to buy it online too, it'll cost you way more money, but it is a great, great company. Um, so I found this beautiful little blazer there. I keep forgetting to keep them on the hanger so I can show you guys. Um, so this is a very cute blazer. You can see the way they made the details here. Uh, there's the zippers three-fourth sleeve and this is how it would look on I wear this quite a bit especially since summer and this is where it zips up at okay go with this if you want so it's just a really cool jacket next one no boundary this is actually a juniors size 7 8 but when I tried it on that didn't stop me from getting it because we can shop in juniors too if you can fit it why not um, and I tell you guys the best thing to do too is like shop all over in the thrift store don't just go to the women's section go to the men's section go to the ladies section um, go to the kids section Go in all the sections because things are just kind of get thrown around sometimes in the thrift store. So if you just stay segmented on that one section, you're going to miss out on a lot of stuff. And then also you got to double back. Sometimes if you're in that section and then you go and you see you don't see anything, go back before you leave the store and just give it one more go around just to see what's in there, you know. So this is No Boundaries and I believe that was a, um, a Kmart brown, brand back in the day or whatever. But... This is the blazer and how it's made, which I used to like the No Boundaries uh, brand. They had cute clothes. Um, especially, I think Selena Gomez was working with them at one time, so they had some really cute stuff. Or she was working with um, Bongo, but she definitely was working with Kmart. She had her own uh, brand of stuff there. Okay, so this is a really cute blazer. I love blazers too. Just another cute little jacket. And this is made out of corduroy, so I love the material. I love the print. 
cheetah print. Very cute. We just had the one blazer, one one button um, one button closure, so that was cute. And these are falsy false pockets, but they had just a little bit of drama to the blazer to me. And you can't go wrong with a, a cute blazer. This would look great with a pair of dark jeans and maybe a white tee if you wanted to wear something like that. So if you get a printed blazer, just think like to rock a white basic tee and some dark jeans under it. And like your favorite pair of shoes. And the shoes should be like a basic like color. Like white, black, somewhere in there. Not too busy because you have all of this fun on the top. So don't make it too busy. And then another military inspired jacket, White House Black Market. They make really, really cute clothes for women. And I'm always happy when I find stuff there at the thrift store made by them because they have a great styling. Uh, New York and Company is another place for women. Uh, great designers. Uh, also Liz Claiborne. And I'm probably forgetting some brands, but as we go uh, live thrifting, you'll, you'll see the process of it all. Okay, so this one is military inspired and this comes down a lot longer than the last jacket it hits me right at the hip it's past my hip I should say right towards my legs so this is it button up very cute how it's made in the back And I'm not going to try all these on because I don't want this video to be super long for you guys. As you can see, this is a Calvin Klein blazer. This is the detailing on this. So this is a these like cow print. Very pretty. Then there's In Focus. The dress. In Focus Studio. Another in focus studio dress. So obviously that is a good brand to find too. And I love that this is yellow and cute. I'm gonna style this guy for you. Uh in a future lookbook video. I did wear this for my son's birthday. I did wear this recently in a lookbook, so I probably won't style this again. Um I will wear this so you get to like kind of see this dress up close and personal. He has really pretty design. This is by New York and Company. So they make really great clothes. Um, I also found this brand new Calvin Klein dress. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay. And this is the way this is made. Very pretty. And I love Calvin Klein. I buy Calvin Klein at Macy's all the time. So anytime I see it at the thrift, I'm definitely going to get it. Then I did a video on this jacket with gas. I almost didn't get this jacket because it was bright red. And I was like, hmm, you know, I don't really know. I'm not a red person like that. But this will go with so many things. Like if I just make sure everything is muted like here, not too busy, um, then this will stand out more. So that's how I dress. If something's too busy, then I kind of mute everything else so that the main piece that's kind of trying to get all the attention gets the attention, you know. So this is a cute jacket, and um, I did do a video on this. And I just love all the buttons and details. I don't know why I was about to leave this down uh, bad behind, but you know what? Probably because red is not my go-to color, so that's why. But don't be like me. If anything is not your go-to color, still go for it. And I did in the end. I was like, why would I leave this behind? It's really cute and it'll go with something. You know what I mean? Even if you want to wear like a white tee underneath and some dark blue jeans, it'll go with that if you don't want to dress too busy. Um, and then this, I thought was so pretty. And I've worn this a lot with like some Adidas pants that I, I found also from the thrift. But I'm not um, bringing this in this video, but I have worn that on my Instagram, this outfit together um i don't really know who this is by oh a dressing woman it's called a dressing woman but it's really a pretty top really pretty great design 
and LuLaRoe. This is a LuLaRoe jacket, brand new with tags that I found. So I was like, whoa. And it fitted just the way I like. It's military inspired. Um, it's got the drawstring. Drawstring to it. Uh, there's the details in back. And it goes past the legs. As you can see, look at the pretty flowers there. It's so cute. You can find so many authentic things at the thrift store. So that's the detailing in this. And I'll try it on for you all. Okay. These are the way the lapels are made. Like that. And just like this, tie it up, and you're good to go. It's a very cool coat. And it's very lightweight. You can wear it in the spring, early fall. And this is brand new with tags. So. And last but not least, we're nearing the end of the video. The most exciting other find that I found, and I've, I've done probably showed you these in a handbook haul uh, video that I did. But for you who are new here, this I found this beautiful Puma patent leather bag, and this is how it's made at the bottom, and this is how it looks on. So I love the brand Puma, and I was like, ah, what? So it was just like waiting for me in the accessory section. So you know, I was like, I gotta get that. It's so cute. So it stands out. I love that about this bag. And uh, basically guys, this is just, you know, a tutorial on how to and style and just trying to show you guys that there is good stuff at the thrift store. You just have to be patient with yourself. Um, make sure you find what you're looking for there. Even if you don't find it, double back. And then I'll show you too when I'm doing a live video the thought process. Um, I may not tell you directly everything. We'll probably talk before I get in the store, but when I'm going there, I'll tell you everything that I'm doing so you can see what the thought process is, even if it's just a voiceover, because that's probably what I'll do. Um, but I'll visit like the accessories, and then we'll go to this section and that section, you know, and we'll just have fun thrifting, you know? So anyway, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There's people watching my videos, but you're not subscribing. Please join the family. Um, I need your support so much. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'm so thankful to bring you guys the content that I have. And I, I really love making these videos. It's fun to me. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel. Let's grow our family. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.